good morning students welcome to the second online session of class 6 computers today we will discuss about we will discuss about output devices and memory unit the storage devices or the computer storage so as we have studied ipo cycle ipo cycle where user have to give instructions to the computer and computer process the, those instructions and finally gives the result the device on which computer gives the result is known as output device so most commonly used output device which you all have seen that is monitor monitors you have seen in your computer lab in uh, hospitals in shopping malls at the billing counter and so many other places monitors are most commonly used output device which is capable to display the text as well as the pictures on it monitors are also known as visual display unit how the monitor display the data or the text or the numbers actually you can consider the screen of monitor as a graph sheet as a graph sheet is having so many tiny squares over there so same way these tiny squares here considered as pixels or the picture element the quality of the output depends on the number of pixels present on the monitor higher the pixels higher the number of pixels better the quality of the output so the quality of output is directly proportional to the quality of number of pixels on the monitor we are having various types of monitor as CRT thin film and LED CRTs were this one CRTs were used previously they were very heavy bigger in size and bulky and not portable so nowadays they are not being used nowadays this is TFT LED is being used <coughs> excuse me TFT LED monitors have a special quality that they produce the picture or the text with high contrast produce less heat and very much environment friendly the quality of output is very good using TFT LEDs but the output which we get <coughs> excuse me on the monitor is considered as soft coffee copy output which we can only see but we cannot touch another type of output is hard copy output hard copy output means which we can touch with our fingers which are with our hand and we can also see so hard hard copy output hard copy output can be taken using the device known as printer so printer is a hard copy output device where we can get the print out on the papers or the transparencies the output taken on paper is known as hard copy and printer varies in size speed cost and the quality of printing on the basis of these characteristics printer are further classified into two categories these are impact printer and non impact printer so impact printer are those printers are those printers which have mechanical contact between the print head and the paper between the print head and the paper so print impact printers examples are dot matrix printer and line printer and daisy wheel printer what happen in it <coughs> there is a ribbon inked ribbon on which 
the print hand which have various pins on it strikes and so the print out can be taken but these printer are very slow noisy and are not capable to give high quality printings so now these days uh, these days these printers are being used in government offices to print to print the bills or in the rural areas the second type of printers are <coughs> non impact printers non impact printer the quality of such printers are that they do not have mechanical contact between the paper and the print head and the example of these printers are these laser printer and this is your inkjet printer the difference between laser printer and inkjet printer is what laser printer uses liquid ink to print the to take the output while laser printer is used dry ink and mostly for home purposes where you have to take few print outs once in a while then inkjet printer are good and where you have to take lots of print out daily 100 of pages daily then their laser printer are being used they are not noisy and they are very fast printing quality is very good they are less expensive not very expensive they are okay and uh, very high speed so nowadays laser printer are being used and we suggest for the home purpose the inkjet printer but a drawback which i personally faced that was if you are not taking the print out using the inkjet printer the liquid ink which is filled in its refill is dry up and and you have to you cannot take the print out in that case so inkjet printer are not being used nowadays for the home purpose also <clears throat> the third type of printer output device is plotter plotters are used by architects and the engineers to take the output of the maps of big shopping complex or the house structure etc now it comes to a another device soft copy output device that is lcd projector which you are familiar with you have seen this particular device in your smart class in your av room in your lab also <coughs> excuse me so these are the projectors which are used to display the data which is stored in your computer or laptop on a large screen so nowadays as you all familiar these are being used in schools where we have to give presentations or we have to explain some topics to our students next topic is computer memory can you tell me what was the number you gain you got in your first test of the first class you can't remember but computer if you store anything in the computer that will be long lasting until unless you are not deleting it by your own so computer have the memory where you can store your data and where it also store its data while it is processing it so memory can be divided into two major categories they are primary memory and secondary memory further primary memory is divided into ram and rom and secondary memory is divided into hard disk cd dvd blu ray disk etc and flash drive and the memory card primary memory it is the memory which is known as main memory or internal memory this is the memory which computer can directly access the cpu can directly access so this is called as primary memory and the second one is uh, the two parts of primary memory are ram and rom ram stands for 
random access memory. Random access memory means where you can read and write. Both the process can be performed. And it is a volatile memory. Volatile memory means what? Whenever you turn off the computer, then when electricity power supply is turned off, the data which is present in RAM will be lost. It means the information will be long lasting till the power supply is continued. Otherwise, RAM will lose the data. Another type of primary memory is ROM. ROM is the internal memory. It is non-volatile. Whatever the data you store over there, that will be long lasting. And the data, the informations are written in ROM at the time of manufacturing. It is stored main information that is known as BIOS, basic input output system, which helps the computer for loading the operating system when the computer is switched on. As computer can perform the jobs according to given instructions, so when you switch on how the operating system gets loaded, the information is present in the BIOS. Secondary memory, it is the auxiliary memory or you can say external memory where you can store the data for permanent purpose and you can use it for any time, anywhere. The first most commonly is hard disk which is present inside our computer. Even nowadays external hard disk are also coming with USB cord. And hard disk store the data on its magnetic platters and uh, they are coming of uh, from few gigabyte to few terabytes. Now the next one is CD. CD is an optical device where, where we can store approximately 700 MB of data and they are of two types. CDR and CDRW. CDR stands for where we can store, store data once, we can read only. And CDRW means where we can read and write the data according to our convenience. Now, DVD. DVD is also optical storage device. It is uses laser beam to store the data on, the, on it. DVD can store more data than CD. It can store the data up to 4.7 GB of the one-sided DVD and for both-sided DVD we can store the data up to 9 GB. Now it comes to Blu-ray disc which have more capacity than the DVD. Here we can store the data up to 25 GB. Up to 25 GB. So it is the in CD, DVD and Blu-ray disc, Blu-ray discs have maximum capacity to store the data. Don't worry about it if it is little bit blurred because I'm sending you the PDF for the notes. PDF of the notes. Now it comes to pen drive. You all are familiar with it as you bring your presentations on in your pen drive. It is small USB drive which can be carried anywhere. It is portable. And uh, why it is also known as flash drive because the technology used to transmit the data on it by, <coughs> by electrically stored on it or erased or deprogrammed. That is why it is called as flash drive also. And memory card, memory card, you have must seen it in your mobile phones. In your mobile phones, these are used to store photographs, songs, videos, etc. And memory card are being used. Most commonly, it is being used in mobile phones or in your digital camera, etc. So, now that's it. The first chapter, I'm sending you the PDF of the same notes and a worksheet. So, read the PDF. And Google for the various type of devices to see the pictures of those. And uh, stay at home, be safe and defeat the corona. Okay, bacho. Solve the worksheet in your notebook.